All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the JP side just went through a pretty big maintenance and the app was also updated to version 4.9.0. And through this update, we were able to learn about a bunch of new things that are coming to the JP side of the game in the near future, including the next summonable LR, which as it turns out, is not the LR Angel Golden Frieza that a lot of us were expecting, even though I feel like that guy could still be coming at some point, you know, closer to the end of the month, closer to Golden Week. But for now, we're going to be getting the LR Vegeta and Nappa that you see on the screen. And of course, we're going to go over all their details in just a second. But the other thing we're going to be getting is a brand new game mode that I believe is called Explosive chain battle and when people first saw this in the game files they got super super excited because people thought that this was going to be the co-op mode like the live co-op mode that we've been waiting for for a super long time and as it turns out it's not quite that there is going to be somewhat of a collaborative effort between you and other people but not really in real time and uh, at the end of this video I'll try my best to explain to you guys exactly how this new event works but do keep in mind that my personal understanding is very very rough so I'm not gonna get all the details exactly right or maybe they're gonna be a little bit rough so um, yeah just keep that in mind as I go through the explanation but I will try my best to explain to you guys how this mode works and uh, next up we're also going to be getting a new I guess section of the Baba shop called secret treasure chest and uh, by the way shout out to Goresh for the translation here it's a new feature that will be implemented in the Baba shop that will give you random items from treasure chests that are obtainable via uh, a special currency so the way I think it's going to work is that we're probably going to be able to farm some kind of currency from maybe an event or from missions and then exchange them in the Baba shop for these secret treasure chests. And then we can open these treasure chests to get random items like maybe some Kai's, possibly orbs, and uh, maybe if we're super lucky, even some dragon stones. Not really sure, but that's kind of my understanding of how this is going to work. And uh, once again, people got excited when they first saw this because I think many assumed that this was going to be the Pilaf's Trove finally coming to JP. And even though most of the stuff in the Pilaf's Trove is not that hype, the subscription feature that Global has is definitely something that JP players have envied for a while. And uh, it would have been nice for JP players to finally get that option because the subscription feature is actually really really good value right good value for your money as far as like how many stones you're getting so uh, unfortunately it's not that so um not as exciting but i mean to be fair we don't really know exactly what this is going to look like exactly what kind of rewards we can get from these treasure chests so it could still be a pretty cool feature depending on how it shakes out right so that's also a new thing and uh, next up let's take a quick look at the super attack animations for the LR, Nappa, and Vegeta posted by the official Dokkan Twitter page. By the way, they are not a free-to-play unit. I was, I mean, I always assumed that if we got a Vegeta and Nappa from the Saiyan Saga, they would be free-to-play, maybe like a Prime Battle or a Friend Summon LR, but nope, they are summonable. So just want to get that out of the way. And uh, now let's take a quick look at these animations together. And uh, I'll be honest, I have never seen or haven't seen these animations all the way through yet so we're gonna kind of be experiencing all this stuff together for the first time all right so without further ado let's do this here we go all right so we got napa powering up and then doing his um his finger thing i don't i don't know exactly what it's called but it is an aoe attack and then you got Vegeta yelling at Nappa. So I think the first one was the 12 key. This is the 18 key, I believe. Oh no, never mind. This is the active skill. This is the active skill. My bad. Okay, so that was the active skill. I believe this is the 18 key. And dude, the animation is phenomenal. This is really, really clean. 
I mean, who would have thought that Nappa would look this badass? Okay, so this is them showing you, I believe, taking damage. And then <laughs> Vegeta throws Nappa into the air. And then now you're just Vegeta. So this is an exchange unit. Yep, okay, kills Vegeta. Or sorry, kills Nappa. Vegeta kills Nappa. So now you're just Vegeta. And Vegeta has his own super attacks, of course. I believe this is the 12 key. Damn, oh my god. And then this is the 18 key. He powers up. Flies into the air. Gallic gun. Oh my god. That is the most insane looking Gallic gun I've ever seen. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, first impressions, really, really positive, man. Really, really good. I mean... They absolutely killed it with these animations. I, I, I wasn't surprised, like, I expected them to be good, but I did not expect them to be able to make Nappa look this badass, right? Like, you, you just don't expect that from Nappa. You don't expect Nappa to look this cool, and he really does. He looks really, really good. Um, so there's that, and then there's the active skill, um, where Vegeta's yelling at Nappa, and then he dodges, and then you get the 18 key here. And then obviously you get the Vegeta stuff as well. Uh, let's take a quick look at that. You know what? Let's take a quick look at this <laughs> exchange first. I love it, man. Yo, yo, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Freeze frame on this Nappa here. Freeze frame on this Nappa here. What is going on to his body? What the? <laughs> yo, they did not hold back with this one, man. That is savage. Damn, his whole body getting all twisted, and that's pretty gruesome, actually. Damn, that's like that. That's like not the regular PG Dokkan animation, right? This is like PG thirteen. Like that's that's pretty gruesome, man. This this man's limbs are getting twisted all over the place. His neck is like snapped and all that. Damn. Okay, that's crazy. Um, and then of course we get the Vegeta stuff. Let's watch this Gallic gun one more time because it was pretty nuts. Okay, here we go. All that lightning, all the crazy effects going on, and then. Choose the Gallic Gun, big explosion, pretty dope. Okay, so animations, A+. Love those animations. Now let's take a quick look at their details. And of course, another big shout out to Goretch for the translations. It's pretty much a standard for these kind of videos because I personally can't read Japanese and he's always really, really quick with the translations and also they're always super accurate. So uh, Goretch is the man, of course, for sure. Now. His uh, leader skill, or their leader skill, is Diabolical Fiends, which is a brand new category. Diabolical Fiends, category key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%, and then um, Extreme AGL types, key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. So you start off as Nappa and Vegeta before the exchange, and then Super Attack 12 key is Giant Storm, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to all enemies. So attack all for the 12 key, and then 18 key is greatly raises attack for attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to one enemy and greatly lowers defense. And the passive is Prestigious Elite Warrior, attack and defense plus 78%, key plus 5 when HP is 78% or above, gain an additional attack plus 78% within the same turn after evading an attack and then gain an additional attack and defense plus 7800 per enemy at the start of the turn exchange with Vegeta when conditions are met so I've been told that the reason there's so many 78s is because 7 um, in like Japanese sounds like is, is na and then 8 is pa so 7 8 is napa Right, so that's why the 7-8 for all these like percentages and all that stuff. And um, the links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Brutal Beatdown, Toughest Nails, Berserker, over 9,000, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. So no Fierce Battle, no Prepare for Battle, um, a bit of a shaft on the links to be honest. They, these links are not great. These links are really not great. Um, I mean, Shattering the Limit at least is good, I guess, for linking with some units. But, I mean, you're not going to see a lot of over 9,000. Berserker is not a very good link. 
Um, Saiyan Warrior race is okay, Brutal Beatdown, you know, some a good, a good amount. Uh, some villains will have it, at least some villains in their category will have it. Um, Legendary Power, of course, is standard for LR units, but not a great link set overall, if I'm being honest. And uh, categories are Diabolical Fiends, Pure Saiyans, and Terrifying Conquerors. Now, this unit is very interesting in the sense that they have a exchange, but also an active skill that are different and like not connected to each other, you know? So the exchange condition here is exchange with Vegeta when HP is 50% or below after four turns have passed or elapsed from the start of battle. And I believe this just happens when you meet this condition. Like you can't choose to exchange like the um, LR androids, you know, where you can exchange from the 17 and 18 to 16, you use the active skill to do that, right? But for this unit, I believe you can't do that, or you can't choose when you want to exchange, because the active skill is actually different from the exchange, right? The active skill is called Nappa, look out, and that's when uh, Vegeta yells at Nappa, right? And the condition to do the, to the, to do the active skill is you have to be on or past the third turn from the start of battle, once only, and the effect is attack minus 50%, but evade enemy attack. So as you can see, the effect of the active skill is to reduce your attack and evade all enemy attacks, whereas the exchange is a completely different thing. So unless I'm reading this wrong, my understanding is that the active skill and the exchange are separate, and you can't choose when to exchange. As long as you meet these conditions, then you'll automatically exchange from Nappa and Vegeta into just Vegeta. And uh, of course, the, the reason for this active skill here is to activate this part of the passive, which is gain an additional 78% attack within the same turn after evading an attack. Now, interesting thing to note is that you lose 50% attack here uh, when you, you activate the active skill. So, I mean, if you just do the math, you're kind of only getting an additional 28% attack, right? Because you're losing 50% from the active skill but getting an additional 78 from the passive. And uh, evading all attacks, of course, can be pretty useful depending on which event you're on. And uh, once you exchange into Vegeta, the 12 key is Slash Swing, um, which is raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and lowers attack. And the 18 key is Gallic Gun, uh, which greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and massively lowers defense um, of the enemy and passive is recovers 50% HP once only so I'm assuming that's I mean I'm not assuming I know that's when you exchange when you first exchange you gain or recover 50% HP and then key plus three attack and defense plus a hundred percent and gains an additional key plus three and attack and defense plus 18% when there is a uh, just one enemy present gain an additional key plus three and attack and defense plus 18% when attacking a super class enemy and then attacks effective against all types when key is 24 so when you have full key then his attacks are effective against all types and as far as the links go tough as nails and berserker are changed into royal lineage and prodigies so those are all the details for this exchange lr vegeta and nappa and on the surface, it's kind of hard to tell like exactly how good they are. I mean, I know they're going to be good. I know for a fact they're going to be good, but I don't really know where to rank them as far as like the hierarchy of LRs in this game, especially compared to recent LRs we've received, um, because they're just very unique. You know, they got a lot going on here. They got like a bunch of different boosts happening. Um, they've got the active skill. They've got the uh, exchange and there's just a lot of like stuff happening with this card and it's kind of hard for me to assess how strong they are. I think they're going to hit pretty hard. I think they're going to tank pretty well. I think that um, active skill is going to be pretty clutch. But I think the only way to know exactly where they rank among the LRs is uh, to do an actual showcase, to do some actual gameplay. So for now, I'm going to say they're good. But uh, I can't say they're broken or anything like that because I just really don't know. I mean, the Vegeta looks really good, actually, because you're recovering 50% HP, you're healing 50% right off the bat, and then you're getting key plus 3, attack and defense plus 100%, unconditional, but if you're, face if you're facing just one enemy, you also get an additional key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 18%, and then you're also getting key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 18% when facing a super attack enemy, and then attacks effective against all types when key is 24, which shouldn't be too hard to, to, to get to, because you're getting, like, up to nine key from the passive if you fulfill 
um, those three conditions, right? Or rather, just two conditions. So you're already getting key plus three for just no condition, no reason. You're just getting that key plus three. And then if you're facing one enemy, and if that enemy is super class, that's an additional six key plus 18% attack and defense times two. So yeah, he's giving himself a ton of key. He's getting a pretty big boost on his passive for an LR. And uh, effect, attacks effective against all types too should increase his damage by quite a bit. So... It, it, it's all looking really good. I mean, the exchange condition is a little bit um, restrictive, right? You gotta be below 50% HP past the fourth turn. Fourth turn is not too bad, but 50% HP or below is uh, a little bit. It's a little bit low, right? I mean, it makes sense because you're supposed to be like dying. Like Nappa should be dying, um, like in the show, before you know the exchange happens and, and Vegeta kills him. So it makes sense as far as being faithful to the show. But uh, I just wish it wasn't such a low percentage, you know what I mean? So there are all the details for the Vegeta and Nappa. Let's move over to a quick look at their category, the Diabolical Fiends category. And it is a very interesting category in my opinion. Um, some highlights here. We got all the Rosés, we got almost, I think all the Goku Blacks, all the Golden Friezas. Um, of course, LR, Int Rosé is here, STR Rosé, some really, really top tier units. Um, a bunch of other Friezas, we got all the babies. Um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, a bunch of, you know, base form Vegetas. And a bunch of Brolies too, right? Uh, STR Broly, Fizz Broly, um, Omega Shenrons, uh, Android 17, Super 17 is here. Uh, a couple of good boos. So, I mean, you could build a very, very strong team with this category for sure. Um, for sure, yeah, for sure. No, it's a good category, but, you know, not like the best I've seen. But, I mean, if you build a team with, like, you know, the Nappa and Vegeta, and then along with, like, Rose, along with Tech Broly, along with LR Baby, um, you know, maybe Tech Golden Frieza, the EZA Frieza, and I don't know, uh... <laughs> I mean, I don't know about the synergy, but the units themselves are really good. But, you know, if you want to build a team with a lot of synergy, obviously you have to pick and choose which ones work well with each other. But uh, it's an interesting category. It's uh, definitely an interesting category. And of course, they themselves will fit on, like the LR or Vegeta and Nappa will fit on the Pure Saiyans categories. You don't have to necessarily run them on their own team. And it's only a 130% boost right now. So, you know, they won't be optimal on this team until a 170% lead comes out, a Dokkan Fest lead comes out for the category. But there is the Diabolical Fiends right there. And last but not least, let's uh, let's try our hand at explaining this new, um, what's it called again? Explosive Chain Battle event. Now I want to give credit once again to Goresh for his initial explanation on his uh, Twitter page because that helped me a lot in trying to understand how this event works and I don't think he even you know fully understands all the nitty-gritty details of how you know um, it's gonna play out but he at least gave us some rough translations um, that they gave us here on the official Dokkan Twitter page so uh, there's a little video here that we can take a look at in a second but first let's go through these steps so what it says here is basically that you want to do as much damage on this event as possible. You want to hit as hard as possible with the help of your friends. And step one here is just the start screen. Um, kind of looks like the you know original Battlefield 1.0 start screen. And the enemy that we're facing in the beginning is the Broly, the uh, you know the original Broly. And I'm assuming that in the future maybe there's gonna be different stages with different kinds of enemies. Um, but for now, we're starting with the Broly. And then for step two, you're choosing a pool of units, and it looks like 10 units here that are actually that are actually gonna be your units that you send off for your friends or other people to be able to use. So you choose 10 units, those are gonna be your supporting units, and uh, other people will be able to use those units that you selected to help them in their runs. And then step three here, you're choosing a main unit who's going to be the main attacker for your run, along with, it looks like two teams of supporters. So you got 
um, six supporters here as well as a connector unit and then another six supporters and another connector unit. I'm not really sure what the relationship between the connectors and the supporters is. I don't really know like what the good what, what like a good choice for a supporter and connector will be. It does emphasize that you want to make sure there's good synergy between your different units that you're selecting, but I don't really know exactly how that synergy is gonna work. Um, and then once you get into the actual event, there's gonna be a bunch of animations that play, and then um, you're gonna go into this screen here where eight random units, I believe from your pool of, su of uh, supporter units will pop up, and then you choose three of them to participate in the attack, and then the attack will happen, and uh, you hit Broly for you know whatever number amount of damage that your team can do, and then the event ends. And there's gonna be some kind of ranking system where you're gonna be like you know play ranked among the other players. And I'm assuming these are like different tiers of uh, rewards maybe. So if you fall within like the six to ten percent top like top six to ten percent, that's like one tier of rewards. If you fall within the eleven to twenty percent, that's another tier of rewards. And obviously the best rewards are for people that are in the top one percent. So um, that's just my understanding. I could be wrong, but there is gonna be some kind of ranking system. And I think it's logical to assume that the ranking is gonna be associated with how good your rewards are, right? Oh, by the way, this event can be attempted every single day as well. And I'm not really sure like if we're just gonna be getting one-time rewards, if we clear missions, or is it gonna be like every single week or every single month, like depending on which tier you fall in, you get different rewards for that or something like that. I don't really know. I don't really know. Very, very rough understanding, but uh, I basically told you everything that I know about the event at the moment. Now, let's take a quick look at this video to uh, maybe get a clearer idea of how this thing works. All right, so here we go. So as you can see, it's um, the uh, STR LR Goku Black versus the enemy Broly. And, you know, they, they fight it out. A little animation plays out. Um, Goku gets beat, but then you come in with all your supporting units, right? So everyone that just flew in right there are, I believe, from the supporter pool. As you can see, there are uh, six supports and the connector unit, and the six supports and a connector unit. And the supports give the connector unit like extra power or power them up or something like that. And then you go into this screen here where eight units appear. And. Actually, are they from the supporter pool? I can't really, I, I don't really notice if like they were even on the other screen, like before you went into the selection screens. I don't really know. Okay, so there was a timer. You have you have a limited time. You have a limited time to select three of the units, and then they battle battle it out, as you can see here. And uh, then you launch your final attack with your main guy, which in this case is the uh, STR LR Goku Black, and uh, then you perform your super attack animation, you do your damage, which here is 46,222,677, uh, and then it's over. And that's pretty much the event. So not quite co-op, but like I said, there is some kind of collaboration between you and other people because at least you're using other people's units to help you do as much damage as possible. And uh, this is the new explosive chain battle event, my friends. I wish I could give you a clearer explanation or just like more concise details about how the event works, but I honestly really don't know anything beyond what I just told you. So um, that's it guys, that is the chain battle thing. And uh, this is the category, the new category that's added with the LR Nappa and Vegeta. These are the details for the Nappa and Vegeta. Let me know in the comments down below, actually, what you guys think about the, your, the initial details or your initial impression of this unit. I'm interested to hear if you guys think they're good, if you guys think they're just okay, or if you guys think they're trash. I really don't think they're trash. I think they're really good. I just don't know if they're like super good or like super broken or anything like that. Can't say for sure until some gameplay comes out. All right, so that's the uh, information. And we saw the animations already, of course. Uh, there's gonna be the secret treasure chest um, section added to the Baba Shop. And uh, here's the image for the new event. And here's the official details from the Twitter page for Dokkan.
So there you go, guys. I'm sorry if I seem kind of weird right now because it's very late. It's like 4 a.m. and I didn't get any sleep, obviously. So my brain is definitely not uh, working optimally at the moment. But uh, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I appreciate appreciate you for sticking through for watching this very, very long video. I think I rambled probably a lot more than I even normally do, and I do tend to ramble sometimes, but I rambled a lot in this video, but uh, hopefully I was able to get through or get all the points across, you know, in a understandable way. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's gonna do, the, do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go to bed now. I need to sleep for like 12 hours after this, but uh, if any more information comes out about the chain battle or the sacred treasure thing or just anything else from this update um, once I wake up I will definitely keep you guys uh, up to date or keep you guys in the loop in a upcoming video but that's all I gotta say for now you guys are amazing for sticking through if you made it to this point you're the real MVP and uh, as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out